What up folks, now from Nav's Tactics, today we're taking a look at the Charge 3. I have some problems with my Charge 3. For one, the battery's dead. <laughs> and you see the lines coming down the side of them? That's really ticking my wife off. This is the second Charge 3 we got. The first one we got was uh, shortly after the first month that we had it, the battery started having some issues. So they sent us a replacement. I managed to do a teardown of that initial system, but I ended up losing it. Because I'm a silly guy. And now I'm going to try to tear down of this one. I'm not seeing any easy way to get this out. So I think I'm going to have to do it by force. That seems to be the way Fitbit likes you to do it. So we got the metal housing around here. And we got the plastic bits. I'm going to use a small nail file. Try to open it up just like I had to do with the Fitbit Versa. No, it's not beautiful, but I want to see what's on the inside. I want to see uh, what's going on. I want my Pixel to do an autofocus. It's not helped me out much with that, though. Yeah, so this is the kind of thing. I don't think there's any way you can actually get in here to change the battery or to change a screen. I think it's if you have to open it, you finished it, basically, which is why they didn't want the original one back initially. This will be a minute, folks. I'll be back. All right, I'm wrong. We got uh, Torx, super small Torx, and they're so small that I don't think I have that size. I just have to keep going with the filing. Nah, that only took the plastic frame off the side. Yippee! Yeah, there's no way of getting into this thing neatly. Definitely no way. I can understand why the battery would have had a problem on one of these. Look how small. Look how cute. So of course we got a little band that went up to meet the um, the LED. It was interesting. I was chipping away at this and the, the LED was still showing so I think that's a sign of being built very well. Come on autofocus. Such a little motherboard, such a little everything. Okay, so through picking and prodding, I managed to get the battery out. Look how small that is. It's amazing. It's like nothing. It's amazing what they managed to squeeze into these boards. Looks like there's more under there. It's got to get a torch that's small enough. Wish me luck. My daughter's upset she can't have all of the rainbow cookies right now. Sorry if you can hear that. No, sorry, but I cannot read what is on those little chips. Those are just way too in there. And way too small, I should say. Dang, this stuff is small. There's no way to get into these things nicely and do this work. I mean, if you're good at cell phones, if you're super good at cell phone repair, you might be able to get in, get everything fixed, and then get out okay. But unless you're super epic, unbelievable talented with super small things, I mean, Lewis Rossman might be able to do this, maybe. But it's a real adventure. And this is it for me, folks. Ned from Nest Tactics. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Appreciate it. And catch you later. Have a good one, folks.